We've had Coach Jonathan Smith. Coach, if you would, with a quick statement, then we'll open it up for questions. Um, well, that's a uh, physical football team that we didn't execute enough at a high enough level to be able to win the game. Um, that's what I told the team in, in the locker room. Look, I, I, we're going to fight for four quarters. I respect the effort, competitiveness of our outfit, um, but we've got to execute better uh, to win games. Coach, uh, I mean, you're down 30 to 10. You've got a, a slew of injuries going on during the game, plus before what was going on. And yet you're with the ball, final drive with a chance to win the game. What does that say about your club? Well, it does. And we're going to play the game for four quarters. Uh, credit to our defense getting some stops in the fourth quarter uh, when we needed them again. Uh, really, we had two opportunities with the ball down six, less than, you know, under five minutes and Again, didn't, didn't get it done. Coach, when did you know that you were going to be without Jamar and and just how would you describe playing without him, without Jebbia on the road? Not not ideal. Yeah, we found out Tuesday night on Jamar. And uh, just like 2020 and football in general, it's next man up and you continue to prepare and uh, put your pl the best plan forward. I thought these guys practiced well Wednesday and Thursday. Obviously, the team's aware of what was going on. Uh, didn't flinch and came out trying to compete today. Jonathan, just how proud are you of the defense for those three last drives in the fourth quarter and what they showed? Yeah, and that part was good. You know, we needed some stops and they came up big. Uh, needed to sort some things out. I even thought in the first half they're moving the ball really well. And we held them to some field goals that uh, ended up being huge, keeping the game close. Uh, at the same time, we got to create some turnovers. I don't think we got any. Had some opportunities. Um, but they definitely had one that turned into three points for them. And then they had the huge return on, on, uh, on punt where we didn't have the same type of plays getting turnovers or special teams. Hey, uh, Jonathan, Avery said that he didn't think he played very well, but he had 21 tackles and 10 solo tackles. Well, he had a bunch of opportunities. I know that they were out there running the ball, possessing the ball, moving the ball. Um, and he's a good player, man. He competes and he's a good tackler. And we've got some guys on that side that uh, this game means a lot to them. We've got to uh, continue, though, and to improve. I mean, our run defense, get off the field a few more times. I don't think they punted until late in the third quarter. How would you evaluate uh, Chance's performance, Coach? Yeah, I thought that, uh, you know, for a first start coming over here and playing this defense, I uh, knew that this was going to be a good challenge. Um, I did think he uh, continued to get into the flow of the game. Uh, but, he, you know, he's going to be more accurate at times. I think he'd tell you that himself. But shoot, he played well enough to keep us in the game with the ball at the end of the end of the game, had opportunities. So I know he'll he'll learn a bunch from this. He'll dive into the film and and having a first experience like this, we're counting on game two to have a huge jump. Do you know the status of Jabbar for next week? I do not. Hey coach, when you looked at not the last drive, but the second last drive when you guys had the fourth down, the fourth and one play, was that a direct handoff for sure? Or was it an RPO? That was, in a, uh, that was an RPO, uh, again, trying to go fast there and steal one. You know, it was about a yard and a half, uh, but he did have uh, choices on the play. Did you think at all about going with the Coletto package there, or you just wanted to go fast? You know, the, the, always the conversations when we were going fast is like keep the personnel you got on the, on the field so you can go fast. Obviously, the sub and, and whatnot. Uh, hindsight, yeah, 2020 would have and better do something different. But we felt good about the call at the time, and they just stopped. Avery, um, what – what just talk, wonder if you could talk a little bit about their Utah's running game and what, you know, trouble you guys had uh, whole, shutting that down tonight. Um, well, I mean, we knew what they were going to run. Uh, we just didn't execute, and uh, it showed. Uh, I, I don't speak for myself, but I probably played my worst game of the season. You, you felt you played your worst game of the season? Yeah, for sure. Uh, how, how so? Missed tackles. She played out there assignment wise. Just wasn't executing the way I was supposed to. The, hey, uh, Avery, you guys were down 30 to 10. You guys did keep them in check, and you guys ended up having a chance to win. What does that say about the never say die effort by you guys? Uh, we know every game going to come down to the fourth quarter. It uh, doesn't matter what the score is early. You know, at the end, it's going to come down to the fourth quarter. So whether you're up or down, you just got to keep playing. 
it, it was 30 to 10 and, and they just returned a punt for a touchdown. What, what, what was the feeling on the sideline? What was the mood? Um, I mean, like I said, you know, the game is long. It's a long game in college football. So whether you're up a lot or down a lot, you know, that when it comes to the fourth quarter, it's going to be a close game and the game's going to be on the line. What did you think about uh, Chance's performance and how he played under, uh, under these circumstances? I felt like Chance played good. He gave us a chance to win, and that's all you can ask for. When you guys are looking at your situation, you're down your starting quarterback, you're down your all-world running back, your backup running back goes out, your one of your receivers goes out. I mean, you guys had to persevere to get where you were, but what's it like facing all those, you know, with all those guys out and trying to claw back uh, from a deficit? I mean, we knew all week we were going to be out, so, uh, you know, everyone prepares and next guy up. Um, so any, any week, especially with COVID, any week, you never know who's going to be up. So I guess everyone has to be ready to play. Chance, how would you evaluate your performance individually tonight? Um, I think personally, I think I left a lot of stuff on the field, just uh, going through it and looking at it. But uh, I mean, we'll go watch the film and, you know, study it. And so I can see just everything I learned from my mistakes, you know, the, a defense did a lot of different stuff. The, they kind of bought some pressure at me here in time. So, but uh, no, I think we'll just get back and watch the film, and I think uh, I'll be able to evaluate it better after that. Look like your the ball ball was kind of sailing on you early. Uh, you settled in later, but was it was it a grip thing? Was it a nerves thing? Was it a footwork thing? What what was going on there? Yeah, man, I think I just you know maybe a little you know a little anxious. I was uh, kind of leading my receivers a little too far. I left one high to my tight end early on in the game. That was a big third down we should have had back for a conversion. But, yeah, I think it was just a little anxious. But I started settling down in the second half for sure. I started getting, getting out of my hand better. Hey, Chance, what's it like to be down by 20, but then toward the end of the game, you've got a chance to win the game on that last drive? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is credit to our defense. You know, they gave us – opportunities all game and stayed in the game. They were battling back and forth, you know, getting fourth and one stops for us to, you know, have that opportunity. So I think it's just a testimony to them and what they did. I think offensively we have a lot of things we can clean up and uh, get better at for sure. There's Chance, one you, you've been you've been with this program less than a year, but what what have you learned about these guys and, and Jonathan Smith's program that just you guys just don't seem to give up in any of these situations? Yeah, I mean I can't yeah I can't speak enough about the relentlessness of our team. You know, every guy, you know, we know the game's never over. It's a long game. You got 15 minute quarters, you know, a lot can happen, you know, in a minute. So we uh, we never give up. You got to fight to the very end. And that's what our team does every week, week in and week out. Chance, you throw that, um, that 21 yard touchdown pass to Colby there in the fourth. What's kind of going through your head after that moment? And you guys realize I, you still have a real chance. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, shoot, we were, I don't think, I didn't think at any point we we're ever out of the game. You know, 20 points isn't a, isn't a big thing to come back from. So, yeah, when I just, Back after that, I just, you know, we got to get a stop and we got to go do it again, take the lead. So, I mean, it really was the only thing in my head after that, just get the ball, but hopefully we get the ball back and hopefully we get another chance. And, you know, unfortunately we fell up short, but um, that's football. What's the mindset when, you know, starting quarterbacks out and you're leading and then Jefferson's out and then Baylor goes out and Fleming's is out. You guys were missing a lot of pieces. What's the mindset in, in that circumstance? You know, I think uh, we all just bring that mindset and next man up. I mean, I think that's what you have to do at the end of the day. At a, you know, Division One college football, you never know with injuries and everything like that that can go down, especially in the times that we're in right now. So I think everyone just got to be ready to go when the number's called. And, you know, I think I think our guys stepped up, you know, well tonight and, and you know, played hard. I think all our guys, I think we played hard for sure. I just, you know, execution, do things we can do better. Your work. Your first pass, obviously not the result you expected, you know, bouncing back from that. How do you approach that and, and kind of moving on and putting in the pass? Yeah, I mean, I just, I got fooled by the coverage. Uh, but I mean, I just, I held it up too late. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have made that. I should just progress through my progression. But I mean, that's just things I'm going to learn from my first game. So, uh, but, uh, you know, I know I can't make those mistakes and I got to be better than that because uh, you can't, you know, you can't turn the ball over and win games at this level. Generally speaking, what's this week been like for you? thrust into this position on this team right now? Um, I mean, it's been a pretty standard week. I just, you know, I've been getting some more reps throughout the practices, but uh, I mean, I've, I've always been prepared, you know, whenever my opportunity is called to get in and go out there and, you know, play my game and leave my heart on the field. So it's not really different, anything different in preparation. 
I'm, you know, because when I wasn't the starter, I was still preparing to be the starter because that's where I want to be at. So, I mean, preparation is not any different. I just think, you know, some execution things can definitely be executed better. <laughs>